So how did I become a data analyst without a related experience? In this video, I'm going to share my story of becoming a data analyst and we'll give you some advice if you're on a similar path. So I graduated from college with a computer information systems degree. My first job out of college was an IT audit role at one of the big four accounting firms. As an IT auditor, I was working with different clients and we were responsible for reviewing their IT systems and processes and making sure they were aligned. Within a year, I quit that job because I've had enough of IT audit and public accounting in general. I gave my two weeks notice after I landed a data analyst job, but how did I become a data analyst without a related experience? I made myself a four-step plan. First, I watched some tutorials, SQL and Python. Then I started working on some personal projects. Then I practiced technical interview questions. And my last step was the recruiting itself. After busy season ended, I started watching some SQL tutorials because I had not used any SQL since I graduated from college and I needed to refresh my memory on that. I used Coursera and YouTube, but you can watch any tutorials you want and you don't even have to pay. Almost all of them are great and they will do the job. The important thing here and the most common mistake people make is they just get stuck in a loophole of watching tutorials. You can only watch so many tutorials, but you have to apply what you learned and show that you can actually use the tools, which leads into the next step. And that is working on personal projects. After watching one or two tutorials on SQL, you should start working on some projects because that's how you would actually learn. You know, that's how you learn. You just keep pushing on a project. So that's what I did. I started working on a couple of data analytics projects with healthcare provider and COVID-19 data sets. I used SQL for data wrangling and analyzing used basic functions like order by, group by, and join functions, and tried my best to use more advanced ones such as window functions, common table expressions, and temporary functions. Then I used Tableau to work on some visualizations and creating dashboards. You can also use Power BI, but I like Tableau more, and I think it's easier to work with on a Mac. After having about two, three projects that I can talk about and show during the interviews, I started practicing some SQL interview questions. Technical interviews are different from working on projects because when you're working on a project, you're constantly Googling if you're trying to figure out something. But that's not the case for technical interviews. So it takes practice and solving problems to get good at them. I personally practiced the questions on lead code. Even some of the easier questions were challenging for me at first, but the more I practiced, the better I got, just like most things in life. I was already applying to jobs when I was working on projects and practicing interview questions, but I was doing it to get myself used to the process. I even had a handful of interviews, but I started taking it seriously after I was done with the project. I was reaching out to recruiters even though I was getting emails and DMs from them almost every day. I tailored my resume for specific companies and roles. Also, I reached out to my network, people I know from college, my close friends and people from my community. I asked for coffee chats so that I could pick their brains, ask for tips and referrals as well. I ended up not getting offers from those, but I was referred to a handful of companies. Before I get into the technical skills, first, you need an analytical mindset. You need to be able to analyze and dig deep to find out more of something. To break down and solve the problems, you need to be able to ask the right questions and reach out to the right people. So you have to have good communication skills. Just like any other job, you have to have good communication skills in data analysis. You're gonna be working in a team, again, just like most jobs. You're also probably gonna be working with stakeholders from different departments. You might have to do some presentations to them as well. So you need to have good verbal and written communication skills. You obviously need to have technical skills too. And the most common one is none other than Microsoft Excel. Everyone knows Excel, so I don't need to explain what it is, but 99.9% .9 of companies use it. So that should be your number one tool to learn and practice. The second tool you should learn after Excel is SQL. Structured query language is capable of handling large data sets much more quickly than spreadsheet softwares like Microsoft Excel. It's one of the most important tools for data analysts. SQL and Excel are the first two skills that companies ask for. 
After learning SQL, you should learn a BI tool, either Tableau or Power BI. Business intelligence tools are used for creating visualizations and dashboards, and that's how you communicate your findings with stakeholders as a data analyst. Again, it doesn't matter which one you learn, they're similar to each other anyway, but it's an important skill to have as a data analyst. And the final technical skill I think you should have is Python. This is not a must, at least for most companies, it's more like a nice to have. If you were applying to data scientist roles, you would have to know either Python or R, but for most data analysts, you don't have to. So I would actually start applying to jobs and wouldn't worry about Python, but it's definitely a nice skill to have, not just for data analysis, but in general. So that's how I became a data analyst, and I wish you luck on your journey as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.